Imagine hitting it big in the crazy world of Hollywood and making more than enough money to live comfortably for the rest of your life. Still, you ended up blowing it on crazy things like super fast cars, exotic mansions, and expensive vacations till it all vanished. Sounds wild, right? Well, you know what sounds even more wild? Nicolas Cage buying a 67 million year old Tarbosaurus dinosaur skull for $300,000. And this was just one of many weird things that he spent money on. He bought a haunted house where a serial killer once lived, a nine-foot-high pyramid tombstone, a pet octopus, and even shrunken pygmy heads. Little wonder why he soon found himself back at the bottom. That's one way of looking at it. <laughs> With a net worth of $150 million from a flourishing career, he lived a lavish lifestyle and spent his hard-earned cash like a kid in a candy store causing his bank account to nearly hit zero like a bad crypto meme coin. His extravagant spending included purchasing costly mansions, castles, and even entire islands. He acquired two islands in the Bahamas, including a 40-acre property in Nassau worth $7 million. Among his notable properties were a $35 million waterfront home in Newport Beach, California, an $8 million English mansion, and an $8.5 million estate in Las Vegas, an 11th century Bavarian castle in Germany worth $8 million, and a countryside estate in Rhode Island priced at $15.7 million. In addition to all these, he acquired numerous luxury cars, sports vehicles, and motorcycles around a whopping 50 cars and 30 bikes in total, with some valued between half a million to a million dollars. But really, who comes on social media to spell the word broke with wads of $100 bills when he is actually going bankrupt? None other than James Curtis Jackson, popularly known as 50 Cent. Between 2015 and 2016, the star rapper who told the world to get rich or die trying declared bankruptcy. He made money but lost it all because he was smart enough to make it but too dumb to keep it. Harsh words, I know. 50 Cent faced numerous lawsuits, which contributed to his dwindling fortune. One of the most significant lawsuits was filed against him by Lestonia Leviston, the mother of Rick Ross's child. She sued 50 Cent for releasing a sex tape featuring her without her permission and was awarded $7 million in damages. Additionally, the rapper was also sued by Sleek Audio, his former business partners, for a headphone deal gone awry, and they were awarded $17 million. All these, including extravagant purchases such as a 52-room mansion and wild spending, saw him become not only broke, but in debt. Well, that's over with now, Coney. <laughs> It seems that riches come with tremendous audacity because that's perhaps the only way to explain why actress Pamela Anderson decided to buy a Malibu mansion for $2 million but spent almost five times that amount on refurbishing it to her taste. In the end, it turned out to be a wild dream as she found herself unable to pay the construction workers and eventually had to part ways with her dream house, ending up in a smaller house? Nope, in a trailer park. You pretty much know everything by now. <laughs> During the 90s, she achieved immense stardom as one of Hollywood's leading actresses, largely due to her prominent role in the hit television series Baywatch. It is believed that she received a staggering $300,000 per episode, totaling almost $7 million per season. Her extravagant spending habits and lavish lifestyle, including indulging in luxury travel, first-class flights, exotic cars, and gold, were the cause of her dramatic decline. She spent money excessively with no regard for reasonable limits until her multi-million dollar rolls dried up. But for some other stars, it's not only dumb spending, but dumb deals. In 1988, Tony Braxton's fans were left stunned when the successful singer, known for her hit songs, filed for bankruptcy. Just two years prior, she had released an album that sold over 15 million copies and topped the charts for three months. This wasn't her first hit album either. Her debut album in 1993 was also a massive success. However, despite her success, she found herself broke due to a fraudulent record contract and her expensive personal taste. Although her second album earned her record label Artista La Face a staggering $170 million, her royalties were only $2,000, leaving her indebted to her label for various expenses. 
including studio time, travel, and music video production. Shortly before declaring bankruptcy, she sued her record label and revealed that she was earning a mere 33 cents per album sold. Her love for expensive home decor, including kitchenware and high thread count linens, also contributed to her financial troubles. In 2010, Braxton was forced to file for bankruptcy again after she collapsed on stage and was diagnosed with lupus. Despite having promising self-sponsored shows, she was unable to pay her vendors or work due to her health condition. In 2019, again, she was reported to owe a half a million dollars in back taxes. But who buys an entire town? During the late 80s and early 90s, Kim Basinger was a highly successful actress known for starring roles in hit films such as Batman and alongside legendary actor James Bond. While she had ample funds to live a comfortable life, some significant decisions led her from wealth to bankruptcy. However, it wasn't just a case of frivolous spending, but rather wild and perhaps unwise dreaming. Basinger purchased an entire town. While some celebrities buy islands, this actress took it to another level by acquiring the small town of Brasselton in Georgia, which had just over 500 residents at the time of purchase. Her plan was to turn it into some sort of tourist destination or movie town, but there were no concrete plans to bring that dream to reality. Eventually, it turned out to be a pipe dream that disappeared into thin air. Trouble came a few years later when she was sued for refusing to proceed with her lead role in the movie Boxing Helena because she felt it would negatively affect her career. Mainline Pictures sued her to the tune of $7 million. And since she had spent a fortune on the purchase of the town, she was forced to declare bankruptcy. Remember when some self-proclaiming fortune teller of the future claimed that the world was going to end on the 21st of December, 2012? Actress Heidi Montag and her husband, Spencer Pratt, believed them and embarked on a race to spend as much as they could before the apocalypse. They openly admitted that they actually believed that there was an asteroid coming to hit the Earth and that everything would be wiped out. So they wanted to live their best lives before it all ended. Well, the world is still here. But they ended up moving back with their parents when all the money ran out. And they couldn't afford basic things, including a decent house. In just under five years, rapper MC Hammer earned and squandered almost $100 million. He achieved incredible success with his rap music and developed a larger-than-life personality that was adorned by many. In addition to his music income, he was a favorite on numerous brands and featured in advertisements, billboards, and cartoons. He had the fame, the fortune, and was living the dream. Oh, Sadly, however, he lacked financial management skills. And just a few years after reaching the peak of his career, he filed for bankruptcy. The reason for his rapid descent from riches to rags is not surprising. It's reported that he bought as many as 21 racehorses and an equal number of exotic cars. Makes me wonder what a rapper needed so many racehorses for. But I guess that's what money does to some people. Makes them dumb. MC Hammer also bought a private jet and fully renovated his $12 million California mansion. The project reportedly cost over $30 million. It included extravagant features like a 17-car garage, tennis courts, a recording studio, two swimming pools, gold-plated toilets, and gold-plated entry gates inscribed with the words, Hammer Time. It must have been sad when the Hammer Time ended and Broke Time began. And last on this list is Stephen Baldwin. Once a rising star in Hollywood and the youngest of the famous Baldwin brothers. The Baldwin brothers would whip your family in the turkey ball. He made headlines when he filed for bankruptcy in 2009. The actor, who had appeared in numerous hit movies and TV shows, had accumulated a net worth of around $10 million at the height of his career. However, his poor financial decisions and inaccurate taxes ultimately ruined his finances. In 2009, the Internal Revenue Service, yes, the IRS, filed a lawsuit against Baldwin for failing to pay over $1 million in taxes. Money's great, booze is all right. But for me, most of all, it's the thrill. He had reportedly not paid federal income tax for three years and also owed substantial amounts to the state of New York. To make matters worse, 
Baldwin had also taken out a mortgage on his home in New York for $1.1 million and was struggling to keep up with the payments. He had missed about six years of monthly payments and his home faced imminent foreclosure. Despite attempts to negotiate a payment plan with the IRS, Baldwin's financial situation continued to deteriorate. He was forced to sell his home at a loss and downsize to a smaller property. You know that thrill of knowing you could win it all, lose it all in the blink of an eye. What is it about fame and wealth that seems to wreck those who get their hands on it? I'll leave that question for you to answer. Thank you for watching this video. Punch the subscribe button so you'll be the first to see when there's a new upload.